What's up, Internet? Reviewing today the ROG Strix LC2360 ARGB AIO. Pero personally, yung question ko sa AIO ngayon, parang medyo mukha na sila lahat. They all kind of look the same. Medyo cookie cutter na yung design. Medyo mature na kasi yung technology. Wala na masyadong nagtatake ng risks. So aside from the fact na tina natin kung quality pa ba yung ROG, malamang, I personally want to see if this AIO has anything which sets it apart from the others on the market. Bago tayo magsimula, dapat alam mo na pinadala to ni Asos sa amin for review, but they had no say in what we had to say about it. Simula tayo sa installation, and the installation of this AIO is very similar to the installations of the other AIOs on the market. Yung nga, ang dami ng standardization ngayon. If you've installed one AIO, basically you'll be comfortable installing any other AIO. That's one good thing about standardization. Di ka na nanganga pa pag nag install ng iba't ibang AIO. In fact, the installation of the LC2 360A RGB is very similar to the NZXT AIOs. Yung fans, di sila nagda-daisy chain, unlike some of the current gen AIOs that we've tested. They do connect to a splitter which connects to your motherboard. Yung CPU block din, kailangan nung internal USB connector. Again, very similar to the NZXT AIO. So, installation, straightforward, no problem. Again, if you've done another AIO, you can install this one. Compatible yung LC2 with all modern CPUs. So, kasama dun yung AMD AM4, yung Intel 11.5X lines, 1200 line, and finally, compatible rin siya sa latest Intel 12th Gen 1700 socket. Huwag na tayo paligoy-ligoy pa. The LC2 is a CPU cooler, so syempre gusto natin malaman how well does it cool. Tsaka mas maganda ba cooling niya kumpara dun sa ibang 360mm rad AIOs. At hindi pipitsugin yung mga pinalaban namin against the LC2. We tested it against the flagship models of the other brands that includes the premium MSI Meg Core Liquid S360, the very excellent Deepcool LS720 which we just reviewed and which we really like. Tinaman na rin naman yung Deepcool Castle 360X as well as the Lian Lee Galahad 360. The CPU for this test is AMD's current flagship, the Ryzen 9 5950X, which can pump out a generous amount of heat. Like our other cooler reviews, we ran the CPU at 100% load using Cinebench for 30 minutes and recorded the average temp reached of each AIO as well as their highs and lows. So, kamusta yung LC2? Excellent! Kailangan pa ba tanungin yan? ROG to, and kita mo talaga yung ROG quality. First, yung average temp niya was 54.96 degrees, which was the lowest temp reached of any AIO in the test. Pinakamalamig si LC2 on the average, although sobrang lapit niya dun sa deep cool L720, which had an average temp of 55.11 degrees. So very close. Basically, tai sila. The Castle and Core Liquid both have averages of around 58 degrees, with the Lian Lee Galahad performing the hottest at 62 degrees. Para sa highest temp reach, second best performing si LC2. The cooler that had the lowest recorded highest temperature was the Deepcool LS720 at 59.5 degrees, followed by the ROG LC2 at 62 degrees. All of the other coolers performed worse with the Castle at 65 degrees, the Core Liquid at 66, and the Galahad at 68. Finally, all of the coolers were around the same ballpark for lowest temp recorded during the test with the LC2 at 52 degrees, then everyone else in the 53 degree range with the castle being an outlier at 56 degrees. Personally, di ko masyado pinapansin tong lowest temp recorded kasi parang idle temps lang yan. So any decent cooler will really have decent or average idle temperatures. So overall, very good performance from the LC2. Most importantly, it had the lowest average temperature score. So over an extended period, Maasahan mo na it will cool constantly at mababa talaga temps niya kahit matagal kang nakaload on your CPU. Very impressive that it managed to edge out the Deepcool L720 which I was really impressed with when I reviewed it last month. Pero di ka bibili ng AIO kung performance lang habol mo. Gusto mo rin yung aesthetics. The sleeker profile and cleaner looks that AIOs have compared to bulky air coolers. Standard ROG aesthetics yung LC2, which is not a bad thing. 
Una, maganda yung kasamang ARGB fans. They throw light in a diffused way so the light is bright without being overwhelming. TPU Block has a semi-pixelated look which is a standard look of ROG this season. Nakita na rin natin to with the ROG Strix Flare 2 Animate as well as the ROG Cetra earphones. Personally, I do like the 8-bit pixelated aesthetics. Playful reminder of how graphics look like before and it can be incorporated well into various items. The slash in the middle of the CPU block renders the ROG logo in straighter, more high-res lines. So the contrast, while not subtle, does look pleasing. I also like how the four triangles frame the inside of the CPU block well. Sa madaling salita, I liked everything about the aesthetics of the ROG LC2. Except walang LCD display yung CPU block. Most of the really high-end AIOs now have LCD displays, like yung tinesting natin Megcore Liquid S360, or everyone's favorite NZXT Z line of AIOs. So medyo nakakapagtaka na walang LCD display tong LC2. I do like what's there, pero sa presyo na to, I think most people, especially yung mga non-enthusiasts, will be looking for an LCD display. To be fair, yung 360mm rad na may LCD display mas mahal kaysa sa LC2. But that leaves the AIO in an overlap that you don't necessarily want to be in. Too expensive to be considered a mid-range AIO, cheaper than most high-end AIOs, yes, pero wala naman siyang LCD display, unlike those higher-end AIOs. We're giving this 4 out of 5 candies mostly on the basis of its excellent cooling performance, easy installation, and pleasing aesthetics. Walang duda na quality all the way talaga si ROG. But it's quality which comes with the ROG tax. Price of the LC2 right now on the LAS official ROG store is 12,850. You can get roughly the same performance from a significantly cheaper AIO. Tsaka if you're willing to spend these big bucks, this AIO might not be what you're looking for either. Malamang big spender ka na, nabenta mo na kidney mo, hindi na rin yan mababalik sa'yo, iniisip mo, nandito na rin tayo, might as well spend even more to get an AIO with an LCD display which the LC2 just doesn't have. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.